Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back here today. Average Knife Guy here back with another video. Um, just wanted to make this quick video to show you a knife that I got today in the mail. This is the GEC number 39. Uh, this is the Sheffield Jack. And so, real quick, I used to have, let me move the camera a little bit. I used to have uh, 12 GECs and that was my cap, by the way. <laughs> and um, I ended up selling off most of them. I only have, uh, this one makes four now um, because, you know, I was trying to figure out which patterns I liked and uh, which ones were for me, which ones I liked to carry and, you know, the different blade shapes. They have so many patterns and so many different handle mat uh, scale materials. It's, it's difficult to know, you know, just by looking in pictures, you know, which ones are for you and so um my my collection of 12 ranged pretty significantly they all had they, they were all quite unique models and um the four that i have now i think i've settled on are you know good ones for me um styles that i like sizes that i like and so this is the newest addition to the GEC collection, and I am psyched. Okay, I've had my eye on this for a while. This is smooth camel bone, and um, it is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Um, I really like camel bone because of the way it takes dye. Um, you never really know. Uh, it seems to just take the dye in just this weird, weird way where it's like... Um, you know, lighter in some areas and darker in others. I mean, I know all bone kind of does that when you dye it, but camel bone just has a unique way of doing it. And I just, I absolutely love it. This is, this is absolutely beautiful. You can see some imperfection there in the bone. Um, it's not, it's not a, you know, a divot or a crack or anything. It's just a dark spot, um, which is Pretty typical of uh, natural materials like this. You got some dark spots over here. Obviously, it's uh, nice and dark in the center here with some light lightness around the edges. I just, oh my God, I just absolutely love it. Um, the Smooth Camel Bone is by far my favorite material that GEC does. Um, you know, they do micarta, they do uh, different woods, exotic woods, and um, um, they do synthetic materials as well. Um, they do acrylics. You know, this, the smooth camel bone is by far my favorite. And um, I have had my eye on this one since they announced that they were going to do the Sheffield Jacks, um, I think in November of 2022, so last year. Um, but I obviously didn't get it when it came out in December. So um, I just got it now. I got a good deal on this one. Yes, I paid more than the retail price for it because I got it on the secondary market, but not much more. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. Um, here's the tube. It's got the Sheffield factories there pumping out product. <laughs> I love that. I love these tubes. They're great. They, they sometimes have really good um, artwork on it. And it came with a little pin, um, old Sheffield Jack. So it's cool that GEC does this, just makes the knife collecting experience so much better. Um, anyway, set this aside, we'll take a look at the knife. Look at this. All right, so Sheffield Jack. Um, so this is a two-bladed jack knife, um, not a Barlow or anything like that because of the small bolster. Um, it kind of has a little bit of a curve. It's one of the reasons why I like the Sheffield Jack. It's not just straight, it has just a slight curve. And what we have for blades are a oh, really good pull. Uh, nice uh, spear point. Check that out with the long pull, nice swedge. Typical of the GEC style spear point. Um, yeah, pretty sharp. You know, I usually have to put my own edges on these uh, GEC knives. Um, tang stamp, 39, 22, 22, meaning, God, camera won't focus because of the lighting in here. Um, there we go. 39 being the pattern, 22 uh, being, I believe, two blades, um, and the two, the other two stands for the spear point shape, and then 22 for 2022, the year it came out. Um, it's got this nice oval shield. I think it looks really, really classy. Uh, brass pins, 
that camel bone is just absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I just, I love the way the dye took in this one. You can see a little bit of imperfection here. Um, that's just, you know, the natural, the, the nature of these natural materials, you know. You never know how they're going to take the dye and what kind of sort of imperfections they're going to show in the bone. Beautiful fit and finish as always with GEC, of course, to be expected. Um, really nice um, walk and talk. And then the old Sheffield Jack also comes with a small uh, spear point blade, like a pen blade. Really good pull on this knife, guys. This has a really hard pull. Here you go. Nice little pen blade there. And um, you can see, too, it's ground a little bit different on uh, on this side. See how there's like a, um, there's almost like a, there's a line running here. Um, you guys can see that. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a saber grind on this side. But on this side, it's not. It's just full flat. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see it pretty good there. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is just a fantastic knife, guys. Centering is perfect. Um, it's just a really good GEC. Um, yeah, I I don't really look for GECs that much anymore. Whoops. Um, just because they are really expensive. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's crazy trying to get one. But this one I couldn't pass up because um, I just, I really, really love it. The design. So, um, that's basically all I have for you guys here today. We'll be carrying this eventually. I'm going to get a nice slip for it and just drop it in the pocket. Um, maybe put a little lanyard on the slip so I can pull it out. But yeah, this is going to be definitely a, um, a daily carry for a little bit. And um, that's going to be it. I'm, real, I'm so happy that I got this because I just... This, this red dye camel bone is just so beautiful. I just really love smooth camel bone. It's probably my favorite um, scale material for traditional knives by far. All right. <clears throat> Thanks so much for coming by, guys. Really appreciate it. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, the knife I've been carrying because I've been trying to like figure out um, what I'm going to do a review for it is this um, Migron Knives Moyarl. And... I've been carrying this. I've been using it. It's a really cool knife. It's in the budget territory for knives. So I'm going to do a review for this. I just want to carry it some more, use it some more before I kind of give my uh, my final thoughts on this really cool budget knife. Um, yeah, really cool. So thanks for coming. Goodbye, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Got some really cool stuff to show you guys. And until next time, stay safe. Thank you so much. Please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave comments. Greatly appreciated. Peace.